Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making demonstration. Today we're going to make quite a large A5 card using lots of gorgeous Anna Griffin items and I will put a description at the bottom in the box of the items that I've used and if there's any links to link back to where you can purchase the products then I'll put those in as well. So I'm going to start off with, as I say, a large A5 folded card. And when I say large A5, I'm just going to show you the size of it on our comparison chart. So that's the A4 and that's the A5 size. So it's the next size down from A4. And to achieve an A5, all you have to do is, if you haven't got any A5 cards, Use some A4 card and fold it in half and that way you've achieved an A5 card yourself. So I'm starting off with the patterned base card and I've already cut a layer and run it through my die cut and my embossing folder and this was the garden cuttings kit from Anna Griffin. So I've inked the edges after I've embossed it and I've got double sided tape already on the back of it. So I'm just going to peel the back of the tape away and I've already made some little corners to go on our card. Now I've already done um, a tutorial for these previously so you'll be able to see how I've made these. So I've got tape on the back of them ready because I just wanted to save a little bit of time for you having to watch me put all the glue on everything so they just slip on the edges of our layer really easily and just add a little bit of extra interest like that just catch that corner there so we'll pop those on and I'm going to put that on my base card roughly in the middle like that so they'll stick down nicely the next layer that I've got is a die cut shape now this could be any die cut shape this so happens it's an Anna Griffin shape and it's from a kit from a long time ago and it's got a sticky back so I can just peel off the back and stick it onto my project so just bear with me while I peel the back away. You could use any of the die cuts that you've already got and I know Anna's got some gorgeous frames and fretwork dies that are available. So I'm literally going to place that in the middle of my base that we've already got on. The next thing I've done is using the Paper Tricks 2 I've cut out three banners and these are in three different papers and I'm literally just going to add a little bit of wet glue and I'm just going to pop them on our card front roughly in the middle and so we've got one that's straight and the other two are just face well one's facing upwards and one's facing downwards. The next thing I've got is from this it was actually from my scrap box and it's two pieces of cream card that's got gold foiling on and it was from a kit that Anna had quite a long time ago. However any of the papers that have got foiling on that she's got now, I'm sure would coordinate just as well. So that's the basis of our card. Next, what I've got is I've got a beautiful large butterfly. And this was from the botanical range a long time ago. And if you've got the botanical decoupage, where you build the butterflies up, you would be able to use some of the butterflies from that. 
However, this one, I know for a fact at the moment, I don't think is available. But any of the other butterflies, or if you've got any other die cuts or dies, you'd be able to use those. So I'm just going to literally pop my butterfly on the card, roughly about there. I've already got a sentiment that I've taken from one of the sentiment books kits that Anna does. And that is going to go in the middle of our banner, just underneath the butterfly wing. And lastly, a card wouldn't be a card without a few of my flowers on it. So I've just got three and I've got two that I've made in coordinating green paper. And I'm literally going to place them onto the card. This one was used in some of the gold paper that matches the banners that we've made. And that will slide just underneath the butterfly. And the final flower I'm going to place at the top. There we go. Just above the butterfly. Press those down for them to take hold. Because wet glue always takes a few seconds just to grab. And that is our card finished. And I think that is oops, so pretty. And I'm sure you'll agree. If you do, please give me the thumbs up below. If you've got any comments, any queries, any questions, anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to say, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can always find me on Facebook. The link for Facebook is at the front of the YouTube channel. There's a little icon of the Facebook logo. If you click on that, that will give you my Facebook address. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.